I think I'll, I'll start to try to connect the high blood pressure dot to his stroke and to sleep apnea um, by saying we were married for 15 years. Um, he was he had hypertension before we were married, so he was taking one pill all the time daily um, for his high blood pressure. But he was also relatively healthy in the sense of he exercised a lot. He rode his bicycle a lot. He uh, was a spinner. He liked to be on a spin bike. So in terms of physical fitness, he did that really well. It was offset with poor diet um, because he did love cheeseburgers and greasy food and all of the things that um, probably contribute to not helping high blood pressure as well. But he did take a med every day um, for the 15 years that we were married. 10 years into our marriage, um, it was actually two days um, after our 10 year wedding anniversary, um, which thank God I happened to be home that day. Um, it was a, a, a school holiday. I worked for a school and, um, and he had a stroke. Um, and so at that time he was a stay at home dad um, and his stroke at the time, we didn't know what stroke was like. I didn't know signs or anything. All he said was that he wasn't feeling too well. And so we drove um, into we drove to the emergency room and learned that he had uh, he was having a stroke in the moment. Um, and so what they asked was, was he taking any medicine? Um, and I did share that he was taking one blood pressure med, um, which I didn't know the name at the time. And I didn't have it on me at the time. Um, but they 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 treated him and he was um, in ER. Um, yeah. Um, because he was not diagnosed with apnea before the stroke, that was not even part of our vernacular. We weren't even thinking about that. Um, and then when we got to the hospital, it still wasn't discussed right away. Um, it wasn't until it, they were treating the, the stroke itself, um, which was pretty acute and had him in ICU for a significant amount of time. And then... Um, it wasn't until he kind of moved to rehab that there was the question of, or that there was the the diagnosis, I guess, of understanding what caused the stroke. Um, and then there was conversation about, oh, he might have sleep apnea because something created this irregular heart rhythm um, that then created a clot that moved up to his brain that caused the stroke. So then it was later um, discussed that, he, he might have sleep apnea and we might need to get him tested for that because that is likely what caused the stroke, what caused the irregular heart rhythm that created the clot that caused the stroke. Um, and it, it served to be true. Like once he got tested, he had um, apnea that was relatively significant. Like, I don't remember what the, the score was, but it was a high score. Um, and then from there, we were using um, the CPAP regularly.